Traders, today we are going to be talking about the holiest of holies trading indicator. Now, my chart used to look like hell trying to find this indicator. In fact, you probably couldn't even see the chart. But as you progress through your trading journey, you try to eliminate as much noise as possible and focus on what works. Let's get into that. The first step in the process, traders, is once we pull up a ticker, what do we do? We always look left. Looking left is the most important. What does that mean? Past chart history, baby. This morning, I pulled up a stock and it was taken off. 8.18 came out with news. The previous close here was at 4.91 and it hit a high of 8.80 in pre-market. Well, what's the news on it? The catalyst here was they're trading higher after the company announced their uh, drug discovery platform. Whatever that means, right? Fundamentals, I don't pay attention to as much anymore. I call them fun dumb mentals. The longer you trade, the more you'll understand that. It goes with the saying, trade the ticker, not the company. There's really only a few indicators we need to find an edge and to take a trade. A, a lot of traders are starting to figure out that level two, tons of sales, all that is just a byproduct of what the price action is telling you. So many aren't even using them anymore. I know I'm not. Let's look left of the chart and what we're going to find out here on the daily chart, this ticker has a history of giving nearly everything back. That's what these upper shadows mean. It means it spiked all the way up here intraday and pulled back, gave everything back. Now we can see that just looking at the candlesticks, but if we go down here to this relative volume standard deviation, the dash line is the average volume every single day. The volume every day here is roughly 1.9 to 2 million. Now it gives you the abnormal deviations off of that, such as this day, 7.5 million. And we see that candlestick in relation gave everything back. Here's another day, 6.5 million. Red candlestick opened up here around 680, gave nearly everything back. Very similar day in October, gave it all back. And if we look way back here, every time we have that abnormal deviation, we can see what SPRC does. And you can apply this to every ticker you look at to get an idea of how to trade it that day. Does this ticker normally give everything back? Does it hold its gains? Does it sell off? Now the relative volume standard deviation comes with thinkorswim, it's free. We can go up here to studies, edit study, and all you have to do up here is type in relative volume standard deviation and double click that and add it to your studies, click apply, and it'll be down here as well. If you'd rather see the number form, there's a script for that as well. I'm gonna show you that right now. So if you follow my cursor, we have the volume. Uh, this is for yesterday, and it gives you a percentage as well. Now that again is gonna be applied to our studies right here, the volume, average volume stats. We can double click there, and this is the script you will enter. I'll link this in the description below. The individual who made this is from this website, thinkorswimindicators.com. It's the average volume stat. This is an incredible stat as well. So you can see the actual percentage that is up on the day or down on the day, as well as looking down here at the bar graph and seeing if we have abnormal uh, volume relative to the standard deviation. Why is volume so important? This is why. Volume equals opportunity, opportunity equals money. Now, whether that's on the bullish or bearish side, it doesn't matter, because guess what? We can make money when they go up, we can make money when stocks go down. But in my opinion, volume is the holy grail. You gotta have it. You gotta look left of the chart. See what, see what the personality traits are of this ticker when it has this amount of volume. Stocks are going up and down like a roller coaster. And it's a fun roller coaster. Understand, no one gets hurt on the roller coaster unless they jump off of it. So have fun while you're riding it. Traders, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm not going to ask you for any money. I save that for the streets. I will ask you to hit the like button, though. Please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.